no time. It's not really down to it, but a couple of uh, portable shortwave receivers. And uh, these are going to be tuned on to 9765 kilohertz Radio New Zealand International. Uh, my location's in Australia, so the signal isn't too bad. And tonight we're, we're looking at the Kenwood R11, uh, which was made by Toshiba, and uh, a very, very nice sort of portable receiver. Like most portable receivers, they have limited band coverage, but uh, this particular one is uh, very, very nice to use. Now, yeah, you'll see that the signal uh, meter at the, on the bottom there is uh, showing a very quite a widely fluctuating signal, but uh, nonetheless quite good audio. Let's now move over to the Texan R9700DX. And this receiver, uh, so I'll just move that, uh, there we go, now you can see it a little bit better there, sorry about the shaking, I'm using my um, camera. Uh, on my phone. Now the Texan 9700DX is a basic analogue receiver and uh, very, very good performance. Very sensitive on the uh, shortwave bands. Uh, not so on the medium wave unfortunately and uh, a fairly sort of average uh, on FM. One good thing about this receiver is if you, I'll just reach over there and turn the dial light on uh, it uh, illuminates the dial light, uh, the dial very nicely. Uh, this one, unfortunately, um, all the uh, uh, all the uh, nomenclature is in Chinese. But anyway, it's a very intuitive uh, receiver to use and quite enjoyable to tune around the bands. Again, uh, has some limited band coverage. Uh, the next one is one that I've had for quite some time. It's a little te Texan. SG789, uh, more limited in its band, band spread, but a small pocket sized uh, analog shortwave receiver. Again, reasonably sensitive, uh, does quite a good job. Um, you can't expect very much out of the audio from these receivers, but uh, nonetheless, uh, definitely worthwhile uh, tuning around the bands with. Lastly, just as a reference receiver, uh, I'm using the Texan PL880 and uh, you can see there that the receiver is tuned to 9765 kilohertz and again the, uh, uh, the uh, signal strength is uh, fairly uh, fluctuating fairly wildly there. These receivers too by the way are just using their telescopic antennas, there are no uh, external antennas um, connected at all. Um, so. The 880 is a nice receiver, um, it uh, has some quirks, uh, but there's plenty on the internet to, uh, to help you with setting them up, um, and uh, definitely a nice receiver. So once again we'll just go backwards, so there's the PL880 Texan, uh, we'll move back to the Sanjin SC789, uh, this one's been around for quite some years, and probably only available um, through uh, sort of online auctions or something like that. Uh, this one's readily available um, on, with online dealers. And uh, yes, I could recommend this one if you're just interested in a, in a receiver just to tune around with the bands with. And lastly, um, again, the Kenwood. Um, very, very nice receiver, quite collectible and uh, really only available on online auction sites. Okay, I uh, hope you've enjoyed tonight's uh, uh, coverage. Uh, you may have noticed in the background there there's a couple of older analog receivers. Uh, Panasonic R1400 and a Panasonic um, 1350, uh, both very nice receivers. But they'll be, they'll be the, uh, uh, the sort of subject of another video. Okay, well thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the presentation tonight. Cheers.